Now I'm gonna show you how to deflate the boat and put all the components back into the bag. The first thing we start with is deflation. You go back to the tail of the boat, take the top off, twist to your right. You let the air escape on its own until it stops coming out. The next thing I do is after the air is escaped under its own power, I'm gonna attach the electric pump on the deflation side. Turn it, turn it on, let it do its thing. What you do is after the pump starts whining, just like the inflation, we turn the pump off, we untwist it, remove it, and then we also lock the key by turning it a quarter turn to the left. This locks it so no more air is going in or out of the boat. So now that you have all the air sucked out of it, it makes it a lot easier to fold. So the first thing we do is we fold a nice fold over the top of the well, straighten out any creases we have there, and you go all the way to the tail with it, then we do the same thing on this side, go over. The better we do the folding and the prep, the easier it's gonna be to get everything back in the bag. So I start at the tail, I make a fold, it's about a foot, a little over a foot, I'm keeping it nice and tight, all the arm, don't let any of uh, the corners pop out. Go up over it, keep this all tucked in tight. Next fold right over the top. <clears throat> Next thing I do is I grab the strap. I like to go around the sides of the boat, strap around it. So I'm gonna tighten this thing down nice and tight. And there's your boat folded up, ready to go in the bag. We want to put some of the other components in the, in the bag first. The first, we want to think about the Mirage Drive. What I do with the Mirage Drive is I kick the fins down, I put the main part of the drive up here in the corner, and I put the pedals all the way back in the corner. That way, when I fit the boat in there, I'll have some extra space. The next thing I do is I break down the three-piece paddle. Take the top off, Take the blade off the shaft. What I like to do is upside down, put this blade in there, get it as close to the bottom as you possibly can, along with the other shafts, kind of all sit next to each other. And then next, we're gonna take off our handle parts. And with the handle parts, it's kind of a good idea. So they're not just floating around in the bag, you can put them in the back of the seat. Nice place to keep them. Take the hose off. So I like to break down your feet and have this pump sit right up here, nice and flat, just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna coil up the rudder. We're gonna coil it up and we're gonna put it back in the seat. It's a nice spot for it keeps it all nice and neat and flat. Key to putting your boat away is keeping it flat. So then now we're gonna prepare the seat to be put back in the bag. We take the clips off each side. Take the clips off each side. And then how you want the boat, you wanna lay this part flat and then the feet kick in. So I'll set that aside. I'm gonna grab my electric pump, coil up the cord so it's not flopping around. So I'm getting ready to put the boat inside. 
So the boat's going to sit. Right. Once you get the boat in, loosen up your straps. Get this guy to clip. Tighten them up as much as you can. Then we see we have some space here, space here. So once you get your boat all strapped down and all the components, but the seat are inside, you push this down onto the back. See how nice and tight it fits to that curve. So the more you shove it back that way, the lower this can go so you can get it easily around. Hose can go right underneath the seat right here. Last little bit. Everything's tucked inside there. Come up around for this last little bit. So to finish off and make it as compact as possible, we cinch down the sides, taking out any slack. You got four nice cinch down spots. There, there, and there. Nice and compact. Ready to go on your next adventure. Each time you use the boat, you don't necessarily have to put everything back in the bag. A lot of our customers just fold the boat up and put it in the bag and put the, all the rest of their gear in an, in an additional bag, throw it in their car and they're gone. We also have a guide inside the bag that has folding instructions.